And then feel free to close your eyes. And then today's quote by Michelle Obama. And she says, be grateful for what you have and be ready to share it when the time comes. Be grateful for what you have and then be ready to share it when the time comes. So as you begin to deepen, as you begin to lengthen, as you begin to open up, as you begin to let go. And then as you begin to scan your body, just begin to soften where you need to soften. the space that you have created or set aside this time for yourself, really begin to nurture it. I'm sitting up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in and retain it at the top. Ujjayi, exhale slowly. <clears throat> Deep breath in and hold. Ujjayi, exhale. Let's do it one more time. Deep breath in and hold. Ujjayi, exhale. And just take a few more moments just to continue to connect. So allowing your inhales and your exhales to keep you present, aware of what you're experiencing and exactly where you are, and exactly what you're feeling in this space. And as you begin to scan your bodies, where can you let go? Where can you offer up a little less to be a little more present? And to just genuinely admire the quality of the inhale and the exhale. how you're able to just let go of anything that prevents you from being here, aware. And softly as you blink the eyes to open, let's come to stand at the top of your mat. So finding your way into your Tadasana. So feel free if you wanna bring the feet together closely, Bring them a little further apart. Take them there. Begin to firm up your thighs. Lengthen your spine, broaden across the chest and the shoulders. And then Irv de Hastas and let's extend the arm straight up to the ceiling. Folding forward on the exhale. 
halfway lift on the inhale, folding forward on the exhale. Inhale as you reach the arms high, folding forward on the exhale. Halfway lift on the inhale, folding forward on the exhale. Inhale as you reach the arms high. Folding forward on the exhale. Halfway lift on the inhale. Folding forward on the exhale. Again, inhale as you reach the arms high. Prayer hands to heart center. And then Tadasana. Here we go. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale as you reach the arms high. Folding forward on the exhale. Halfway lift on the inhale. On the exhale, plant your hands, stepping back to plank. And then shift forward, lower to your bellies. Uncurl the toes, inhale, low cobra. Lower on the exhale, curl the toes, engage your thighs. Your knees can always assist you there as well. Pressing the straight arm plank. Downward facing dog. So feel free, find some stillness if you like. Right? If you're so inclined to do so, feel free to move, right? Feel free to bend the knees and lift the heels and bicycle the legs out. Just finding that triangle shape. And then just noticing what you're experiencing across the neck and the shoulders and the upper chest. Just make allowances for that. Take a deep breath in. Bottom of your exhale, step or walk your feet forward. Halfway lift on the inhale. Folding forward on the exhale. Inhale as you reach the arms high. Prayer hands to heart center. And then Tadasana. Let's do it again. Let's reach the arms high. Fold forward on the exhale. Very nice. Halfway lift on the inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana on the exhale. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Downward facing dog on the exhale. Let's take a few breaths here. So feel free to change the distance or the spacing or the angle. Again, just again, noticing as you check in with your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Bottom of your exhale, step or walk your feet forward. Halfway lift on the inhale. Folding forward on the exhale. Inhale as you reach the arms high. Mm. Prayer hands to heart center. And then Tadasana. So let's see if we can slow that movement down a bit. Let's reach the arms high on the inhale. And slowly on the exhale, folding forward. So just allow yourself to dwell in the vibration of this moment. Halfway lift on the inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana on the exhale. Urvda Mukha Svanasana on the inhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana on the exhale. Few breaths. Take a deep breath in. Bottom of your exhale, step or walk your feet forward. Halfway lift here. Exhale, fold. And it'll reach the arms high. Mm. Prayer hands to heart center. And then Tadasana. Let's do it one more time. Let's reach the arms high on the inhale. Mm. Flat back on the exhale, folding forward again. Feel free to take your time. Halfway lift here. Exhale, plant your hands, chaturanga. You can always go to plank and into your bellies. Pause in here in chaturanga here. Reaching your sternum forward, pressing through the heels, upward facing dog on the inhale. Downward facing dog on the exhale. Let's take a few breaths. Hmm. 
Very nice. Take a deep breath in. Bottom of your exhale, slowly walk your feet forward to the top of the mat. Take your time. Halfway lift on the inhale. Folding forward on the exhale. Inhale as you reach the arms high. Prayer hands to heart center. And then Tadasana. So let's take your hands to your hips and either step or hop your feet hip distance apart. And then for support, let's take the hands to the small of the back. Giving yourself as much support as you need as you firm up your thighs. Start to wrap your elbows in towards one another. Lengthen your spine on the inhale. And then very gently begin to round back. So emphasizing that opening of the chest and the shoulders as opposed to how far you can bend backward causing you to sink and crunch into the lower back. So again, lift, open up the chest. Softening your throat. Again, as much support as you can give yourself by spreading those fingers. See if that helps. Take your gaze forward, take your hands to your hips, soft bending your knees, let's come on forward. Release the hands to the mat. Pada Gustasana, scooping up the big toes. And then strong, straight arms here. And on the exhale, let your head go. So no effort whatsoever to hold it up, right? Space between your shoulders and ears. Mm. Couple more breaths right here. Beautiful to straighten the arms, release the toes. Malasana, squatting down to your your depth, right? Maybe hips are in line with your knees. Maybe palms come together. Maybe arms are extended out in front of you. Maybe you're holding onto the outer edges of your mat. And then notice if the shoulders are rounding, can you sit up a little taller? Perhaps close your eyes. And again, sitting up a little taller. And maybe even a little taller. Nice, plant the hands, lift your hips, feet again about hip distance apart. And as you lift the toes, Padahastasana. As you engage the biceps, again, heavy head. So again, remember, no effort to hold it up, your head, space between your shoulders and ears, relax your jaw. Beautiful to straighten the arms, release the hands. Your choice, crow pose, another round of malasana. Maybe a combination of both. But about a minute to play. So feel free to explore. Crow pose, remember, downward facing dog, same spacing of the hands. While we're here, down dog, all I would do is just walk my feet forward. <clears throat> Maybe lift my hands, my fingers are still there. And then plant the hands again, just like I'm doing down dog. Lift the heels, look forward, lift the chest, and then start to shift forward. About 30 seconds to go. Doesn't mean you have to hold your curl for 30, but 30 more seconds to play and explore. About 15 more. And again, sitting up a little taller. Very nice, plant the hands, lift your hips, bring your feet back together. Halfway lift on the inhale. Hands to hip creases on the exhale. Let's rise. Release your hands to your side body. Tadasana. Mm, let's reach the arms high on the inhale. Folding forward on the exhale. Halfway lift here. Exhale, left foot, step it back. So way back the left foot, right? So as you bend the right knee, 
manipulate the right foot so you've got equal weight right, distributed into the sole of the foot. And then give yourself some space to breathe. So maybe tenting your fingers, reaching your sternum forward, engaging your belly. Very nice. Let's take your hands to your hips. Again, lift the chest here. And then slowly, let's come all the way up to stand. So feel free, if you feel like the feet are on a tightrope, and they're closer together, feel free to widen the stance a little bit. And then find that stability, right? Softness in the toes, right hips back, left hips forward, even more stability squeeze. All right, let's take the arms out in front of you. So resisting that urge to round, right? We'll still energize, but we'll draw back. And as we root down, right, begin to lift up. So start to hug your hips in, start to feel a little lighter in the hips as if you're being pulled up towards the ceiling. Nice, let's take the arms straight up. Maybe sit a little deeper. Good. Continue to energize the arms. Check in with the lower back. Check in with the ribs, right? The rib cage shifting way out in front of you. Start to draw the front ribs in. Energize the arms. Reach and lengthen through your fingertips. Take a deep breath. Slowly lift hands, pause right there. Take a deep breath again. Hands and net your hips, pause right there. Take a deep breath, one more time, pause. Now lift the chest. Can you energize the arms a bit more? Relax the shoulders. Take a deep breath. Both hands to frame the foot. Step your back foot forward to meet your front. Here we go, halfway lift here. Second side, exhale, right foot, step it way back. Again, bend the right knee, equal weight into the left foot. And then tent, space, right? Reach, press through the right heel and then hands to your hips. So maybe lift the chest a little bit, right? So shoulders are not rounding, belly's engaged, chest is lifted. Let's press all the way up. Feel free to manipulate your foot so that you can find the stability that you need. And sitting up nice and tall, or standing nice and tall. Let's extend the arms, retract the shoulders, keep that energy in the arms. Continue to reach and lengthen through the fingertips. And then extend the arm straight up. Maybe sit a little deeper, right? Reach, let's lengthen here. Slowly on the exhale, let's hands pause. Continue to engage your belly. Let's reach a little further here. Hands the torso a little closer. Continue to uh, energize the arms. So maybe the biceps frame the ears. Notice again, if you're here, can you engage the belly? Lift the chest, take a deep breath. One more time, hands in at your hips, pause there. Relax the shoulders, deep breath. Both hands frame in the front foot. Step your back foot forward to your front. Nice, halfway lift on the inhale. Folding forward on the exhale. Inhale as you reach the arms high. Prayer hands to heart center. So bring the feet together. And let's reach the arms high on the inhale. Utkatasana chair pose. All right, so I like feet together so I can squeeze my knees. If the feet are apart, that's great. Just make sure they're not buckling, putting pressure on the knees. So start to work inner knee towards the outer knee. And then maybe sitting back on the heels a little further, perhaps sitting a little deeper. Take a deep breath, prayer hands to heart center. Again, let's drop the hips, lift the chest on the inhale. Very gently twist to your right. So I usually take the palms apart, elbow. Place it on the outside. Maybe your right hand comes to your right hip. Notice if your head is heavy, right? Can you engage the belly? Can you lift the chest? Maybe softly plant that right hand on top of the left. Check in with your knees, right? Can you hug your left hip back as you work the right hip forward? So the tendency is for that left knee to sit, sit way out in front of you. And then maybe start to draw it back. Right. And then lift the chest. Good, so if you're looking down and that's putting a terrible strain in your neck, look forward, maybe look to the side. Maybe sit a little deeper on the inhale, relax the shoulders, fold forward on the exhale. Do that halfway lift on the inhale, folding forward on the exhale. Inhale, let's reach the arms high. Utkatasana. Take a deep breath, prayer hands to heart center. Let's sit a little deeper here, and then very gently twist to your left. 
and maybe stack the palms. Maybe it's a little different here just because you're tighter. Your elbow can stay where it is. Option, you could take your right hand to the inside of your left leg. Maybe that's your twist. That's what it looks like. Again, maybe the palms didn't have to be that way. And then as you drop the hips, can you lift the chest a little bit more? Relax the shoulders, check out the knees. Good. Then find, a per find that place for your gaze that does not put any unnecessary strain on your neck that will prevent you from just taking a nice conscious inhale and exhale. Take a deep breath, fold forward on the exhale. Mm, halfway lift here, folding forward on the exhale. Inhale as you reach the arms high. Prayer hands to heart center. And then hands to your hips. And then from here, let's step your left foot back, maybe about three and a half, maybe four feet. So we're going to come into pyramid pose. So both feet are facing the top of the mat. Standing tall. Hands are on your hips, so options. Option to keep your hands where they are. Options to extend the arms out to the side. Options to take opposite elbows into your hands or fists, so the small of the back. Or interlace fingers, straight arms. Hmm. Or reverse namaskar, prayer hands. They all work. Lift your chest, roll your shoulders back, whatever you've chosen. And then slowly start to hinge at your hips and palms. Hug your right hip back as you work the left hip forward. Inhale, let's lengthen. Start to hinge at your hips. Keep your chest lifted here. Again, let's lengthen. Start to work the torso a little closer. Can you soften the toes here? Inhale, let's lengthen. Exhale, let's work a little closer. So. Uh, big toe mound of your front foot, start to work there, but soften your toes. And then outer edge of the left foot, start to work there. Let's find some more length there. Continue to lift your chest. Start to work the torso a little closer. And again, let's lengthen. Work the torso a little closer. And one more time, let's lengthen. And work the torso a little closer. So from here, here's a caveat, right? Take the hands to the mat to frame the foot. So both feet are still facing the top of the mat. Let's place a bend in your right knee. Right, let's take your chin and tuck it to your chest. And then start to take your forehead and work it towards that bent knee. Right, it might touch it, it might not. Don't force it. And then slowly, as you start to straighten your right leg, chin is to your chest, great massage for the thyroid. Helping boost the metabolism, right? So forehead to the knee. Your hands can stay there, tinting of the fingers, or you can bring the palms together. So arms are straight, just beyond the toes, crossing at the thumbs, pinky edge of the fingers grazing the mat. And then balance there. Nice. Release your hands to the mat. Rise to your fingertips on the inhale. On the exhale, let's take your hands to your hips. Slowly, let's rise all the way to stand. So all we're going to do is change our perspective. So we're going to pivot to face. Your feet don't move, just changing direction. Pivot to face the back of the mat. So both feet, again, are facing the back of the mat. So heels might line up to one another. And let's extend the arms out to the side on the inhale. Then you choose where you want to take your hands. Right? It doesn't have to look the same way it did on the other side. You can take your hands to your hips or interlace them. Or fist. And then lift your chest, roll your shoulders back. And then start to hinge at your hips, pausing right there. Continue to lift the chest. Again, find that direction of the hips. Inhale, let's lengthen. Start to work the torso a little closer. Nice. Let's lengthen again. Start to work the torso a little closer. Again, let's lengthen. Working the torso a little closer. And again, lengthen. Torso a little closer. And one more time, lengthening here. Working the torso a little closer. Then release the hands to the mat. Again, both feet are facing that direction. Maybe sliding the back foot back, right? Give yourself some space. So as you bend the right knee, tuck your chin to your chest, and then start to work the forehead towards the bent right knee, or left knee. Really press through the outer edge of the right foot. Begin to straighten that front leg. Chin tightly tucked to the chest. Palms come together, crossing at your thumbs. Pinky edges of the fingers grazing the mat just beyond the toes. Pausing right there. 
a couple more breaths. Very nice. Let's release the hands out in front of you. Rise to your fingertips. Lift your chest here. And then hands to your hips. So flat back. Slowly let's rise all the way up to stand. Then we're going to pivot to face the top of the mat once again. And then very carefully step your back foot, for, or back foot forward to meet your front. And then Tadasana. Nice. Let's reach the arms high on the inhale. Hmm. Folding forward on the exhale. Halfway lift here. Exhale, left foot, step it way back. So right knee is bending. Crescent high lunge. Just reach the arms high. So your back knee can always come to the mat. And maybe sitting a little deeper in the bend of the knee. Energy through the arms. Take a deep breath. Prayer hands to heart center. Let's shift forward here. And then let's twist. Again, your back knee can come to the mat. Your right hand could come to your hip. Your left hand could come to the inside of that front foot. So no pressure. Just allow yourself to breathe. Allow yourself to lengthen and allow yourself to let go. And it's allowing yourself to, to be grateful right, for what we have. Couple more breaths right here. Mm -hmm. Very carefully, step your back foot forward to meet your front, keeping your twist. We're gonna add in the balancing element, right? So drop the hips, lift the chest. And as you take the weight into your right foot, let's lift it. Maybe just lift the heel. Maybe you lift the entire foot and hold for 10. Nine, relax the shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, begin to straighten the left leg back. Two, and one, keep your twist, twisting high lines where you start it. Nice, let's untwist, crescent, let's reach the arms high. On the exhale, fold forward. Step your back foot forward to meet your front. Now let's work the second side, halfway lift on the inhale. Folding forward on the exhale. Inhale as you reach the arms high. Fold forward on the exhale. Halfway lift here. Exhale, right foot, step it back. Crescent, let's reach the arms high. Maybe sit a little deeper. So again, breathing that length, that energy into the sides of the waist. Relax in the shoulders, take a deep breath. Prayer hands to heart center. Let's shift forward and then let's twist. So check out the toes of the left foot, right? That forward foot soften there. Feel free, listen. Listen to what your back is telling you. If you need to lower the back knee to the mat, take it there. And then lift the chest, relax the shoulders. And then very carefully, step your back foot forward to meet your front, keeping your twist. And here we go. Let's add that balancing element. Um, lifting the right heel. Maybe the entire foot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Begin to straighten the leg. Keep your twist. Nice. Let's untwist. Let's reach the arms high. Folding forward on the exhale. Step your back foot forward to your front. Halfway lift here. Exhale, fold. Inhale as you reach the arms high. Prayer hands are heart center. And as you bow the chin, let's close the eyes. Take a deep breath in. Audible, exhale out. Deep breath in. Let's do it one more time. Deep breath. Okay. 
Tadasana. Here we go. Let's reach the arms high here. Folding forward on the exhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, left foot, step it back. So as you bend your right knee, plant your left heel. Warrior two. So feel free to move the feet, right? Check in what's happening with the right knee. Give it the support that it needs. So equal um, reach, right? Just as much as you're reaching forward, start to reach back, right? Can you maybe sit a little deeper, find a little lightness, start to hug the feet in towards one another. And as you breathe into the sides of the waist, can you relax the shoulders? Flip your front palm, reverse warrior. Mm. Warrior two. Let's come into your variation of Parsvakanasana, side angle. Elbow lightly, hand up, hand up and over. Maybe hand, right hand outside of foot, maybe inside of foot. Allow yourself to broaden here. So if the elbow's touching the thigh, can you lighten it a bit? Warrior two. Let's straighten the front leg. Let's take your hands to your hips, right? And let's shorten the stance a bit. So back foot still, about a 45 degree angle. We're still pressing through the outer edge of that foot, standing up nice and tall. So we'll come into Trikonasana. So we'll start with the hands on the hips and then we get to the other side. We'll work it a little different and just see where we need to take that front hand. Take a deep breath here, stand up tall, rock your left hip way back. Take your gaze out in front of you. Start to slide the right hand down the front of the leg. Keep sliding, keep sliding, keep sliding. And then allow yourself to broaden. Notice if you're collapsing forward, start to broaden as if you're reaching the, the back of your torso, your shoulders towards the wall to the right side. And then maybe float the left arm high. Right, so notice if you're collapsing in the right chest. Can you begin to reach the right chest forward? So think about the base of a triangle, it's flat, yeah? Flat base, you got the point, and then there it is, right? Here's the base. So your rib cage represents the base. So as you reach the right chest forward, you flatten out that base, stronger, more stability. And then that right hand, whatever is touching, there's your point, right? So there's a triangle shape, left arm straight up. Feel free if you want to play. You can take the left arm forward, but don't sacrifice the, the quality of your breath to take the arm forward or maybe even taking the right arm forward. Don't sacrifice that to find that just because you think that's the right thing to do. Allow yourself to be here, right? Focus on the gaze, focus on your breath, focus on letting go, focus on just being grateful so that when the time is right, you'll be ready. Look down at your right toes. Press all the way up on the inhale. Warrior two, so you gotta slide that left foot back some more. Reverse warrior. And then let's come in a side angle again. So maybe you take your hand to the outside. Maybe you take the elbow back to the thigh or if the hand was on the outside, maybe you take it to the thigh. Again, find some lightness, begin to lift up, hugging the hips in towards one another, or the feet rather. Nice, let's take your left hand to the inside of your right foot, pivot into your back toes, and step your back foot forward to meet your front. Halfway lift on the inhale, folding forward on the exhale. Inhale as you reach the arms high. Folding forward here. And halfway lift. Exhale, right foot, step it back. Right heel to the mat, bend your left knee, warrior two. Again, feel free to distance your feet. Flip your front palm, relax the shoulders. Reverse warrior. Again, maybe notice, right? Notice if that left knee is buckling to the inside. Start to work inner knee towards the outer knee. Can you reach a little further, but not so much to where you're hunching the shoulder? Can you relax? Just feel the stretch in the left side of your body. Soften the toes, soften your gaze, relax your breath. Warrior two, let's come in a side angle again. Your variation, maybe modify it. Right. 
Again, broaden across the back. Nice, warrior two. So we'll keep the arms extended this time. Let's straighten the front leg. Uh, let's shorten the stance. So maybe step the back foot in. Standing tall. Take a deep breath. Let's rock the right hip back and pause there. Take your gaze forward. So your arm, your left arm is that arrow, right? So start to shoot your arrow. Reach for it. Reach, reach. And when you can't reach any further, just allow the tilt to happen. Left arm down, right arm straight up. So again, notice if you're collapsing, start to reach the left shoulders of uh, chest forward. See if you can mm, allow that base of the triangle to connect a little deeper. Again, reaching that left chest, for, left chest forward and then start to broaden across the back. Gazing, so maybe I'm looking up and man, I, that hurts my neck like crazy. Maybe you start to look towards the wall in front of you right? or to the side. Maybe your gaze is down. But again, notice if you're collapsing as opposed to broadening. Maybe that arm comes up and over. Maybe you do the same thing with the bottom arm. Maybe you stay right where you are. Look down at your left toes. Let's press all the way up to stand. And then warrior two. Reverse warrior. And then we'll come into Parsva Konasana. Maybe your variation is slightly different or way different. Again, broadening. Can you relax the shoulders a bit more? Let's take your right hand to the inside of your left foot. Pivot into your back toes. Step your back foot forward to meet your front. Halfway lift here. Hands to hip creases. Let's rise. Here we go. So we did um, pyramid pose, All right? Couple of variations. We did um, mm, we did triangle. So now we're going to do twisted triangle, right? So same setup as we did in pyramid pose. Hands to your hips. Let's step your back foot or your left foot back, rather. So again, about the same spacing, maybe three and a half, four feet apart. Stand up nice and tall. So if you have a block and you want to grab it and place it to the right side of your front foot, do so. Maybe, I don't know, middle height. Stand up nice and tall. Let's take the left arm and extend it straight out in front of you. And then take the left arm straight up to the ceiling. So your right hand's on your right hip. Take a deep breath. Slowly. Oh, so the weight in the... Big toe mount of the front foot, outer edge of the back foot. Start to reach forward. So engage your belly, lift your chest. So you're just reaching, 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 reaching. And when you can't reach any further, that left hand's gonna go someplace. Maybe on the ankle, maybe on the foot, maybe on the outside of the foot. And the right hand's gonna remain on the hip. Lift your chest. So see on my back, should flatten there. Then I'm gonna begin to raw, uh, revolve my twist. Maybe floating the top arm high. Maybe keeping your top hand on your hip. Start to lengthen out through the crown of your head. Again, weight inside the front foot, outside the back foot. Right hand to the hip, left hand to the hip. Engage your belly, lift your chest. Slowly, let's rise. All the way up to stand. Same thing we did in pyramid pose. We're going to pivot to face the back of the mat, standing tall. So heels probably line up. Maybe there's a little bit more space. So just notice where you're at, right? If you feel like you're riding or you're on a, a tightrope and the feet are closer, maybe separate them a little bit more. Again, stand up nice and tall. Let's take your right arm and reach it forward. Pause there. Set your feet up. Let's take the arm straight up. Maybe take your gaze up. And then slowly, slowly start to hinge and reach and reach and pause. Again, outer edge of right, inner edge of front, hips working in opposing directions. Continue to lift your chest, reach, reach, reach. And then hands gonna lower someplace, foot, 
the ankle, maybe the outside, maybe sliding your back foot back some more. So both feet as close to neutral, so the hips are neutral, both feet as close to the top of the mat. That left foot easy for that one. Depending on what's happening with the right hip, how tight it is, you might have a little bit more external rotation there. But try to work it towards, don't force it, but try to ball, uh, draw both feet to face the back, back of the mat. Again, if you need to get a little more uh, external in the back hip, do so. And then as you lengthen the spine, start to revolve the twist. Maybe you float the top arm high. Maybe you tint your fingers. Maybe you take your hand to the block, right? Then I forgot to remind you to take it over there, but you'll know. And start to lengthen out through the crown of the head. Relax the shoulders. Good, left hand to the hip, square off the uh, chest, right hand to the hip, engage your belly, lift your chest, slowly let's rise. Beautiful. Let's pivot to face the top of the mat again. Step your back foot forward. Nice, Tadasana. Let's reach the arms high on the inhale. Fold and forward on the exhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, let's come to stand on your knees. So knees and feet come together. Sitting in hero's pose, sitting tall. Feel free to sit on a block. Feel free to pad your knees. Maybe sit on a pillow or two. A couple of books, sit up tall. Lengthen, open up, let go. Close your eyes. And just allow yourself again to dwell in the vibration of this time. Grateful for what we have. Maybe sitting up a little taller. Beautiful, let's plant the hands. Let's come to lie on your bellies. All right, once you get there, take the forehead to the mat and then let's extend the arms back. And then interlace your fingers or interlock your thumbs or hold onto a towel or a strap. So let's establish some length, right? Through, out through the crown of the head, through the toe tips as you firm up your thighs, through the fist. Mm -hmm. And then emphasizing lengthening your entire spine, right? Instead of looking forward, increasing the back of your neck. Let's lift up, coming into Shalom Boss on the head, chest, arms, and legs, right? Strong legs. See if you can work the bend out of your knees. Smooth out your breath here. And slowly, let's lower. Taking the right ear to the mat. Releasing the interlace. Let's do it again. Let's interlace the fingers. And here we go. Let's lift up head, chest, arms, legs. So middle and upper back. See if you can allow that part of your, your back, right, to do all the work. So if you can begin to just let go of that lower third, maybe lifting a little higher, smoothing out your breath even more. 
And slowly as you lower, taking the opposite ear to the mat. And then let's turn the palms down, right? Take the forehead to the mat or maybe the chin. So let's spread your fingers right here. Then as you spread your fingers, press through your palms, then start to draw the backs of the shoulders uh, down the back, yeah? So shoulder blades are drawing down the back rather, and then um, drawing the backs of the shoulders up towards the ceiling. So your neck is nice and long. Pressing through your toe tips, lift the head and the chest. That's the word I was retracting the shoulders, right? Lengthening out through the crown of your head, middle and upper back doing all the work. Mm -hmm. Keep breathing. Maybe lifting a little higher, reaching through the toes. Keep your palms where they are, lift the legs, strong straight legs, yeah? Keep breathing. Lift the arms as well, keep breathing. So no crease, no strain in the back of your neck. Keep breathing, maybe lift a little higher and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's lower. Take your hands, your fingers, and line them up with the center of your chest. Pressing up to your knees. They come to lie on your backs. And then, um, Let's take your right ankle. So both knees a bit. Take your right ankle just above your left knee. And then take the arms, cactus arms out to the side. So flexing the toes of your right foot. Just begin to just wheeling your breath. Start to wheel the right knee forward. Feel free to move the left foot. So I want you to focus on equal weight into that left foot. So if you need to move it over to achieve that, move it over. And then again, flex the toes of the right foot, pressing, just assisting, wheeling the right knee forward. And then as you lift your left foot off the mat, so maybe that left shin is parallel to the mat. So if you had a plate and sat it on there, it just would balance. Maybe take your left leg straight up to the ceiling. Take your right arm threaded through that opening, interlacing your fingers behind the left knee. So that leg can remain straight or you can bend it. Check in with your head and your chest, right? So if you're rounding forward and the shoulders are off the mat and you're struggling to breathe, just relax the back of the head. If you need to walk the hand down towards the back of the hamstring more to um, allow that space to be felt by your shoulders, do that. If you want to reach the arms up, assuming you have that space to relax the shoulders, you want to reach the arms back up and then hold the back of the calf is an option. Nice. Take your right leg straight up. Keep your hands where they are. Lower your right leg to the mat. And then we'll bend the right knee. And then we'll switch sides. Left ankle just above it. And get equal weight into that right foot, arms out to the side. Again, flex the toes of the left foot, start to assist, just wheeling the knee forward. And then keep your arms where they are, lift the right leg again. Shin parallel to the mat. Don't forget about that left foot flex, right? The stretch is in the left hip. Maybe the right leg straight up. Thread the left arm through, interlace the fingers. Again, feel free to keep that leg straight. Feel free to bend the right knee. And then a lot of times, I usually have to just kind of slide my left ankle down further towards maybe the center of my thigh. 
just allows me to feel I feel better in my knee, right, in my left knee. So even though it's a hip stretch, pay attention to what's happening with the knee. Let's take your left leg straight up. And then hug both knees into your chest. Rock them gently from side to side. Now let's take the arms out to the side. Maybe shift your hips off to the right a bit, drop both knees off to your left. Well, feel free to lift the shoulders, smooth out your clothing, smooth out your shoulder blades. And then no mandatory place to take your gaze. Just allow you to take your gaze where you've got, you, know, you feel total ease. In your neck, there's no strain, there's no labored breathing, there's no pressure. Nothing but gratitude. And slowly as you untwist, shift your hips off to the left, drop your knees off to the right. Nice, let's untwist, let's hug the knees back in, squeeze, maybe even come into happy baby for a few breaths, or not. If you're ready for Shavasana, you want to skip that, extend the arms and legs out in front of you. Just allow yourself to dwell in the vibration in this moment. 